Hey, what's up, SaaS Masters? My name's George, and today I want to show you a deal called Flow. This one lets you animate images from Sketch, Figma, and SVG. Now, one of the coolest part about this is that it's super easy to use and animate. So that's what we're going to view in this video. So don't miss this deal. It's going to be in the description if you guys want to grab it. So let's go jump over to check out Flow right now. All right, guys, this is Flow's site, and if you guys want to grab the deal that's going on right now, that link will be in the description. Now, like I said before, what it does is a UX animation for designers. So this is way easier than using something like After Effects, which is way more complex, and you don't need coding required, so it's really easy to use. Now, you can animate these images to just like share them as a GIF, as a movie, or maybe the HTML code so you can embed it on your site to so have something really modern or an iOS app. So let's go ahead and open Flow right here. And it's super simple to use and get started. So we're going to start off with a new project. Okay. And we have the three options available right here. So you got sketch file, empty timeline. That's another one. Um, SVG and the Figma. In this case, we're going to import an SVG. And that's probably the easiest one you're going to grab out there. And you're going to be more common with, with this, which is an SVG. And I'm going to grab this one right here. All right. So now we open it up and obviously nothing has happened. We haven't animated anything. But just take a look at how easy this actually is. I was amazed with it because it's so easy. So let's just say, all right, these, each element of an SVG is a separate element. So we can grab, for example, this table, drag it outside, drag this outside also, and this part of the table, and, oh, not the hand, command Z, this part of the table. Now this has a lot of elements. Oops, don't want to do that. Just want to drag it. Let's go ahead and zoom, all right? drag it outside and you're going to see why I'm dragging these outside because this is so easy to animate. Now a new timeline just appeared right here. So you can see the view box right here. There's a path for each one of those things that we moved. Okay. So if I hit play, you're going to view how those animate. See how easy that was. Now it's, you can even do more things and more complex with that. So each time this is a timeline right here, but let's just say I'm right here. And if I want to further tweak that animation, I can start again and it'll add a key to the frame, to the timeline. All right. So let's just say this is dragging inside, but I want it to go from bottom to top. For example, again, I'll do this one also and this one that way. You can see that it's adding keys to this frame right there. And we'll just edit those ones. All right. So let's click play again and it jumped down and up. And we can keep adding frames in case we want to drag it from another place, just in case you want to make it rounded or do like a triangle, so on and so forth. And you can also change the timeline or the keyframe. So for example, if I grab this keyframe, I can change it where that where I wanted to make that change. Okay. But let's just say I want to make it longer. So the animation takes longer. So I'm going to click play over here and it took longer to animate. Now, this is just something simple. We just dragged in a desk. We can move more elements also from the screen. So for example, this screen right here, um, we can make it something else. So for example, over here, let's go back into the animation right there. And I'm going to try something that I haven't done. So we're going to do this right here. We are going to make it opacity transparent. Okay. So check this out. That should work. It should come from transparent to showing. So like play and it, it changes. See right there. And it started changing color. We can also change the colors from the timeline. So let's go back go ahead in the beginning. And for example, this person's hair, I mean, it's purplish because that's the kind of SVG that they want, but let's just say it went from blue. Okay. Let's grab that one. Also, again, we're just playing around with this because I want to show you how easy this is. So what's going to happen. The hair is going to change from blue to purple to the original color. So let's go ahead and do that. And it changed gradually. Now, if you wanted to change the end color, I would stay at the end and I would change it over here. So we could say instead of changing to blue, it's going to go from blue to red instead of going from the original purple. Okay. Let's go to red. Hey, why is that selecting? Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. From blue to red. So it's going to go from blue to red. We changed the original color for this. So let's click play blue to red. And there's more things you can do with it. It's just start animating with it. So all these things that you tweak over here, like sizes, positions and all that, and you can change it. So for example, let's just say you want to minify that one or make it bigger. For example, we can start from small plus change color. So let's bring it here. And what else? 
this one also will make it transparent also so it changes color together we'll grab those for now okay but you get the idea so there we go from small to big plus it changed the color and you can play around with this now it's really fun when you see this animations on a website because it's really cool that you see something modern so it's not a static image it makes it look like you know what someone professional did this now you can do more things with it like changing this like rotations you can do anchors you can flip it and then go flip it again with the animations and you saw how easy it was if you wanted to do another a keyframe right here you can do you can visually see what's going on right there and add another keyframe if you wanted to all right so let's just say you wanted the color to change when it's right here and not at the end so from here do red red okay so see that there it switches to red and then back to purple and I guess that's enough to show you the power of, of flow because you could do this with logos, which would look really nice with an SVG. And that's how you would do it. Okay. Now what's going to happen when you're done. Okay. When we're done, we have several options to export. This is where the important stuff comes with flow. All right. So let's click on this little export. Let's click on. That's what we want to export the timeline. And we have several options. So in this case, let's just say we don't want the HTML, the Lottie file, the SVG, the iOS, and you got several more options, but they're not available for this right now. So let's export it. Okay. It's created the file. Let's go ahead and open it. And now it gave me the folders for each individual thing that I want. So for example, the HTML file. Okay. You got everything you need right here. The CSS, the, the flow common, the fonts, the image, the JS, read me even the timeline so if i open this it's going to open up on my on my browser okay so it opened up in the browser just so you get an idea how it's going to look and there's the animation we just created okay basically that's not something really nice looking but you get the idea okay we got the let's go back you got the ios right here so you got the files that you need for an ios resources source for example you got all the files that you would need okay we got the lottie web Here's the files for that one and you get the idea and the SVG with timeline. Okay. This is the one I would, I was testing with and here's this one, which is that one. Oh, that's another one I was working with. I was playing with this one with a, a Bitcoin one because I'm going to change the Bitcoins from yellow to the original purple for us for a site I'm working on. All right. But you get the idea that flow is actually super easy to do. And obviously you could do a whole lot more, but one of the cool things about flow is that they got a really documented information right here. So for example, on resources, yeah, here it is. So you got the basic form design production. You got all these videos available. You got tutorials, see all these, how the logos are animated and how cool they look. Well, you may, they made that one with flow. You want to have these ones available there. You can see those and you can see the all docs right here to get more information for more specific things, like how to use it on iOS, how to embed it on the website, and so on and so forth. The reason I wanted to show this video is because I wanted to show you that Flow is a really good option if you need to animate these images in a really easy form factor, all right? Well, there you go, guys. If you guys wanna grab the deal that's going on right now, that link will be in the description. It's an affiliate link. If you use that link, it gives you a small commission and it won't cost you a single cent more than what it already costs. So it helps me out with that small commission. Well, I thank you for watching. My name's George, this is SaaS Master, and I'll see you guys later.